morning guys so as you can probably tell it's crazy early we're off this morning to do a bit of tent fishing something probably one of my favorite types of fishing but something i don't actually get to do that often so uh, apologies if you can't really hear me i'm trying to stay reasonably quiet I'm the first person down i've got up crazy early to to get here to get into a good peg Certainly is no roach. Two red maggots <laughs> after trying corn and different things, trying to, to lift a bigger fish. So we hook into something quite substantial on two red maggots. Oh, it's a strong fish. Target species. There we go, folks. Fantastic female, fantastic condition. She went four pound twelve. I thought she was going to break five. A completely solid fish, absolutely beautiful. Had the head on that thing. Success. Look at the paddle on that thing. Two red maggots. Essential bit of kit when you're tense fishing. So that's the mix that I'm using there at the minute, so it's dried up a wee bit just from this morning. So you can see there's hemp, sweet corn, maggots, and then obviously the census, strawberry fizz, the red bream one and a, a bag of brown crumb. As I stated earlier, the, there was no tent stuff left, so the bream stuff was the closest I thought to what I was really after. My messy corner. By no means a, a coarse or mats angler, if that's what you want to call any of it. Success. First fish. First tench, should I say. £4.12. I'm caught in two red maggots, as I said earlier. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea how over the moon I am with that fish. Um, to put in a bit of effort into preparation, you're going getting bait sorted and scoping out an area, a spot, and you know, putting a bit of thought into it. To actually, whenever you get that fish, it's <laughs> it does. It's uh, such a relief, especially under the pressure of uh, of trying to make a YouTube video as well as you can imagine. You're under that added pressure of uh, 
of producing a fish for the for the video. Um, and over the moon with that, as I said, we're still still not even half five yet. There's a lift, and there's another fish. There's another one. There's another one. I don't think that's a tent. Oh, what are you? What are you? Oh, it has to be a tent. That thing's strong. Yeah, it's just a small tench. Only a baby, this one. And that was again with a lift bite. Float just lifted up and lay on its side. It's usually always the indication then of a tench. Get in. Oh dear. Excellent. Only a small one. And the hooks just popped out. Two red maggots again. Pound and a half, maybe. I feed them. Give a really good account of itself for the size. Buzzing. Two fish. I can go home happy. I would have went home happy if I'd only the one fish. In all honesty, I probably wouldn't have been too disappointed if I never caught anything because it's been a really, really nice morning. Bird singer. Seen a kingfisher. I'm going to pretend it was a water vole that swam past me, although I'm pretty sure that it was a big rat. But we'll, we'll pretend it's a water vole and be a bit nicer. It's quite ironic at the start. I was using you know four or five red maggots. Never got a bite. Just small fish picking away at the maggots. Switched over to corn, again, small fish sort of pestering me. It was only when I reduced it right down to, to two red maggot, then that's <laughs> when I started to produce the fish. It got quite dark all of a sudden. Um, I know it did give rain later on. Although I don't see any rain clouds, it does look quite dull all of a sudden. Hopefully it doesn't come to much because it did forget my umbrella, unfortunately. Just not really used to this sort of fishing anymore. Um, it's, there's a bite. And there's another tench. Oh, is it? Is it? Is it? It came to the surface quite quick, so I don't really know what it is. Oh, he's fighting well, whatever it is. Has to be another tench, has to be. The way that fish is fighting. Oh, get up, get up, get up, get up. Yeah, another small tench. And you're probably wondering why I'm using eight pound main line. This is really, especially even with that big fish earlier. It took me away up to the left and almost into the weeds. And only I had the, the stronger line, I was able to bully it back. You know, don't like putting the fish under too much pressure, I like getting them in, getting them unhooked and getting them back. And sometimes just having a heavier outfit is, uh, is what you need. It's all fun and games, getting good sport out of the fish, but at the same time we wanna, we wanna keep them right. Just hooked on the lip, lovely. If I can get it out, guard. There we go, nice and easy. There 
There's the easy jet swans above me. Another fish about a pound weight. Good to see. What a day this has turned into. Two red maggots again. Lots of slime and snot, if you want to call it, up the line. This is a sign of a successful day though. What are you now? Oh, nice roach. Oh. Another roach, rod, rod, roach, whatever it is. Who cares? It's not a tench. But starting to get quite a few of these now. Maybe throw a few more balls of ground bait out just to try and coax a few more tench back into the swim. Um, possibly so it's on to a worm as well, just to. Just because I haven't tried a worm yet, just to see if it makes any difference. Um, obviously the pressure's off slightly now because I've caught a couple of tents, which is, again, to quote a famous TV show from the 80s. You know, I love it when a plan comes together and all that. So as I said, the pressure's off. I can sort of tinker a bit now. Try different things, different baits. Obviously fishing in the same swim, that's where I've got baited. I haven't spread the bait out at all, I've kept it all in within a metre of of each other. So no point going searching other places. In here's working on catching fish. Don't need to move about too much. Let's give you a closer look then at the at the bait that I've that I've put together for this morning. So as I said, I'm by no means an expert when it comes to this sort of fishing. I don't know, I'm getting a bite on my sweet corn. Yep, and we're into another tent by the looks of it. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a strong fish. Oh, that's a strong fish, that one. And that was on the sweet corn. That's not a pound fish. I was, rip, I was ripping off drag. Okay, I need to stop talking and try and concentrate a bit here because this feels like a fur lump of a fish. This is a good fish. What a fight. What a fight. Now you know why I'm using the 8-pound line. It must be foul hooked. It has to be foul hooked. That's insane. I, like, I literally can't turn this fish. It's right at the far side. Ah, come on, please. There's a single grain of sweet corn. 
Real slow take. If this is the tense, folks, and it's hooked right in the mouth, that's going to be a fair lump of a fish. It's fighting like a double figure pike. Come on, please. I'm starting to get a bit a line back. That fish literally. Oh, that's away again. That fish literally took me right to the far side. I'm back again. Just as I was trying to give you a bit of an idea of what bait I was using, I just happened to look up and the float was just sailing away. Oh, come on, come on, come on. It has to be foul hooked. There's no way a tense is going to fit like that. Foul hooked on the bottom fin. <laughs> it was either that or it was an ash record, one of the two. Just as the sun's coming up. There we go, there we go. Oh, get in. <sighs> dear, dear. Yeah, hooked on the bottom fin. But another fur lump of a fish all the same. That fish definitely bigger than the first one, I think. Oh. Yeah, but look. All right, we'll get it in the scales and see where it goes. There you have it, folks. The biggest one today. Five pound, five ounces. Absolute insane fight. Um, it was hooked just sort of on the, the bottom fin. Um, it sailed off with a one grain of corn. And the width of it, absolute solid fish in great condition. Probably one of the best fights I've ever had off a tench. I'll get it back. All right, able to sit down and catch my breath. That was a bit mad. Um, my plan was to stick on a bit of sweet corn because I knew it would be a lot slower. Um, stick on a bit of sweet corn and give you a, a bit of an in-depth view into, into the ground bait and the different particles and the different things I was using. Um, I had no sooner than I started to look at it and I looked up and the float was sailing away. Uh, struck into it and probably the best fight I've ever had off a tench ever in my life. Now obviously it wasn't hooked in the mouth, it was just under the mouth, just sort of in between the two fins. But wow. Um, there was a few stages I actually thought it might have been a pike, had, had lifted the maggots, or sorry, lifted the sweet corn. It was an <laughs> absolutely unbelievable fight. 5.5, um, 5 pound five, 5, should I say. Um, female fish. Excellent condition, not a mark on it at all. Um, really, really chuffed to bits. Really chuffed to bits now, that's two good fish. And we're getting the bite now on the sweet corn again. So just off camera there then, I decided to just to bait up again, just to, to try and bring a bit more life back into the swim. Now obviously, yes, we did. We got that big fish, but it was, it was one bite in probably 45 minutes. Um, so another four or five balls of ground bait out, a couple of catapults of maggots. And then we're just going to fish corn now, I think. Just try and pick off the bigger fish as opposed to going back to the maggots. All right, to give you a bit of an idea just of the setup that I'm using. Now, as I said previously, like I am by no means an expert at this at all. So small leader, I'm using six pound fluorocarbon. 
Currently I've got a size 12 hook on, one grain of corn. Four big shot. Now, for the purist out there, apologies that the shot aren't all the same colour. I don't think it really matters. But each to their own. Then we have uh, quite a large Drennan Waggler here. Um, so that shot that's actually on it is, is actually too heavy for it. Um, and if it was fished under depth then it would pull it under. Now that's the way I like it. Don't ask me why, it's just the way I've always fished four tenths, so I, I like it that way. Um, sitting at about four and a half foot, literally about six inches over depth. And that's what's been working for me now. Obviously I started off with maggots, quite slow, had a couple of fish. But the big one there came on the corn. And I think I'll stick with the corn for the meantime. We've had a few fish now, the pressure's off. And we'll just try and pick off the bigger fish out there, as opposed to just trying to catch anything for the camera. The worst thing I could have done was feed this thing. Now it won't leave me alone. I could actually reach down and lift it if I wanted to. All right, folks. I think we're going to call it a day. Um, I haven't really had a bite there for the last hour and a half or so. Tents completely quit. Um, early morning was key. All the all the bites were, were before the sun came up. As soon as the sun came up, then it it completely died off. Um, so I'm happy enough with how the day went. Four tents, I think it was. I can't actually even remember the the numbers, but I know I had two good solid fish. Um, hopefully the sound and everything came okay. Out okay in the in the GoPro because I know I was having a few issues with it the last day I was out. Um, really, really enjoyed myself today. It was great. Good to get back at at the tense fishing. It's something that I really love doing. I haven't done it now in a couple of years properly. Um, so I enjoyed that there today. So hopefully it's going to be a good video for you. Hopefully you uh, you enjoy it. Um, once again, thanks for everybody that has subscribed to the channel so far.